If you're looking to create faceless long form videos and you don't know where to start, I've got it covered. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create these long form videos as a complete beginner using Canva. All you need is a free account to get started. There is a link in the description box. You can use that to get to Canva. Hi, my name is Rachel and I create content about Canva, digital tools, tech and AI. If this is something you're interested in, do well to subscribe to the channel and let's grow together. Right now, you just need to use the link in the description to get into Canva and let's get started. So when you come into Canva, you want to pick a video document. We are going for a long form video. So we are going to be using the 1920 by 1080 pixels. The editor page has opened. This is a page. This white blank page is a page. For the faceless YouTube channel, you must have had a script you want to turn into a video. So now we'll have to generate an audio that we can use for this video. If you're going to use your voice to record the audio, fine. But if you don't intend to use your voice, you also want to use AI to record this audio, it's also fine. I will guide you through on how to do that. You might want to copy your script, like I'm going to do now. I will go to Microsoft Clipchamp. You can search for Microsoft Clipchamp in your browser and it will come up. If it's your first time of using Microsoft Clipchamp, it's going to ask you to sign up. But me, I've used it for a long time and I'm not going to be signing up. So you want to go over to where it says text to speech. I'm going to click on try it. And if you look here, it says text to speech. I'm going to tap on text to speech. And I will paste my text here. Here you have to choose your language, the language of your choice you want to use. For me, I am okay with the English UK. I'm going to click out and then you want to choose a voice you want to use. So I click on this voice, you can hear on the voice and see if you like it from here. Once you've selected a voice you like and you've tested the voice and you like it, you might also want to do some advanced settings to the voice. So if you come over to where it says advanced, there is vocal pitch. You have default, it's on default. You can do it extra low, low, medium, higher. You can test all these things to see which one you like. And there is space in here. You can decide to reduce the pace. Once you're done, you can preview to see how it reads your script. After that, you click on save. Wait for it to save. Now it has saved. It's showing me 3 minutes, 17 seconds. Don't just paste it and click on save and disappear. No. You want to wait for it to save properly and you've seen that it has shown how many minutes the video is here and you, you've previewed it and it's sounding like what you want. You now click on export. I like to export as HD. I'm not using the video for anything, but I still like to export in high quality. Before I click on export, I might decide to rename this video here. I click on that. It's already exporting here, but it might still ask you whether you want to save it to your OneDrive. So I'm going to save this to my PC right now. We are going to return to Canva to continue. Now you want to click on the upload and upload the video you just downloaded. Once you're done uploading the video you just downloaded, what you want to do is to tap on the video and you click on this and come over here where it says extract audio. We've extracted the audio from the video. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to delete it. Notice what happened. Let me undo what I did. You see how length it's 3 minutes 17 seconds here. But once I delete this one here that I extracted the audio from, the page returns back to 5 seconds. Don't panic. You're still on point. What you want to do is to start listening to the audio clip. So for this audio clip, it says with the right AI tools, you're going to come over to where it says elements here. And you're going to search Canva element library. So with this one, it says AI tools. You're going to search that. And you focus on videos only. Now I'm going to be picking, this one is a pro feature, but you can filter through here to select the ones that are free. So it brings up all the videos that are free. I click on this, click on these three dots and set the video as background. 
If I listen to it, you will know where this stops. And the wavelength on the audio, if I tap on it, it goes away. That's what I want to show you. It shows you where your audio stops, where there is no wavelength on it and where the line goes straight. So you can use that as a guideline to guide you how to cut your videos. It's easier that way to guide you. So if you listen to your clip, you know where to stop. So I'm going to close this back. I'll watch what the audio will be doing. And I close it back out, the audio reduced back. So I'm going to close it to this part where the, yeah, I'm going to take it further. Yeah, now you want to add on that page. Watch, watch what will happen when I add on that page. If I click on that page, the audio came out again. If you listen to that part of your video, let me listen to it. And from that boring video background. So you can, Come back to the element and search things that would show what it is you're doing in the video. Again, you come over to where it says video. I can just quickly choose this one or any one of your choice. I'm going to pick this one. Or you can still scroll down to search out what is most relevant to you. Pick this free one here. And you can decide to split by using S in your keyboard. If I click on this body here and I split, it has, I will delete this part, which will shrink back the audio. So what you want to do is to still add on another page. You want to be listening to your audio and be adding videos that are relevant to it, what your audio is saying. If I tap on this one, if it's relevant to what the audio is saying, it's going to add on the canvas. I might Decide to hold it and put it here and hold the edges and spread it out. I might decide to just click these three dots and make it my video background. But once you keep adding pages, your audio keeps coming out until you achieve the length of your audio. You can also add images and animate the images. We we'll search for AI tools again. We want to go over to photos. Now we are going to be picking any photo of our choice. I'm using a pro account, like I keep saying. You can also filter from here in the photos and get the ones that are free if you're using a free account. I'm going to click out. And if I touch this one, it's free. It doesn't have the crown on it. Be here and spread it out. I'm going to drag it up a bit. If I click on animate, it brings up the animation page. And I choose what animation I want to apply to the photo. If I click on digital, you see how it's animated. That is how to animate images. You can tap on the body of the page if that's where you want to stop. And position this white playhead where you want it to cut out the parts you don't want to use again. And click S on your keyboard and split it. Or you can tap on the video so it's highlighted. And go over to this scissors sign that it says trim and click on it and use it, this part to move to the part of the video you want. Pull it back in, pull it out, pull it back in. You can preview what you want them to be doing at that point. You see, well, anything I'm doing here is reducing it back down here. So you can use that scissors to trim out the parts you want after splitting to get the exact part of the video you want. Once you're okay with your final product, you want to click on this arrow that goes up here and click on download. Because I have a Canva Pro account, I can choose to download in 4K and I hit on download. Also, because if I have a Pro account, I can choose to download them as separate pages too. I can select pages I want to download and download them. But if you have a free account, you might not be able to do that. I'm going to uncheck this box. Once you're done, you hit on download here. If you want to see how to add captions to your video, I will link the video in the description. Let me know what questions you have in the comments section. And do have a good one.